social network, as in the real life, my friends' friends are not necessarily friends of mine. The fact that on Facebook I call friends all my contacts may be misleading, as too often we contact, or we are contacted by, people we do not know and we've never seen in our life. Of course, I cannot consider them in the same way as my real friends, the ones I love staying with, the ones I speak to, fixing my eyes on theirs, the ones I trust. Let's make some count, if I only have 100 friends, too few? And each of them has 100 friends, my social network enables me to share my tastes, my photos and videos with 10,000 people, many of them I do not know, and with which I'll never get in touch. Have you ever tried to make a similar calculation? Why don't you try and make it now? In this way, you'll realize how many total strangers have the possibility to look at or even download you photos. Be sure, they are too many. How can I trust in strangers? They may look nice, but they remain total strangers, who should not have a look on pieces of my life. Are you ready to tell a hardly known guy every detail of your life, and to let him see all the photos of your last holiday? If not, why are you doing that on Facebook right now? Maybe because you feel safe at home? Finally, Facebook brings me to call friends people who are not friends of mine, and make me share with them everything. That's why I must pay attention to people I add as friends on a social network. Surely, I'll never be able to get in touch with all of them, and I'll never get in touch with their friends, so I'll better set my privacy control so that my photos and videos are not available for all those friends' friends. And maybe, this will also help me giving the right value to all those information that I, day by day, load as a present to the social networks. After all, it's my life, in real and in the social networks too.